Guys, I have a story to share. Today, I decided to go to sauna. You know, we have near the place I'm living, we have the sauna world, like the Finnish sauna, the steam sauna, well, 25 saunas in general at one place. And I was like, hey, I need to relax. I need to relax my mind. I just need to feel a fresh things, just, you know, drop some sweat and be okay. But I was so far from the reality I couldn't imagine because I was the first time in there and there were so many people, it was overcrowded, everybody was yelling, you know, the place which is supposed to be a place of peace and quiet was just a piece of hate and I realized that when I want to suffer, I should go for disco. Let's talk. What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video and today I'm going to talk about Slovenia song Disco LPS, the authors of the song. Welcome to the 80s I could say because this is exactly what it feels but not the 80s which the weekend brings, the American 80s, the 80s we all love. It's the communist 80s, come on. like. This is exactly what was my feeling after I was listening for the first time, second time, third time before I made this video. Like all the time I'm like, hey, um, I don't want to be harsh about the song. So let's start very, very positively. The staging is awesome. It was a very simple idea, which was executed perfectly. Like one of the best edits I've seen this season of all national selection. Like somebody who edited it and I'm not sure if they're using Qpilot awesome work because it gave the song the spirit the life its breath the life to the song of course the song itself is lively the main singer is lively actually he's singing very well he's awesome voice charismatic one strong strong really fit the song and uh, well that's it I don't know what was in Emma, the national selection, what kind of competition was there, what kind of songs was there, but I really expected something which will continue in the tradition of Sebi, with the tradition of Havalane. I think Amen was a strong song as well. It didn't work, but in my opinion, that wasn't definitely a bad way to go. It was good. And this way, well, this way seems original. It's original, it's definitely authentic. But as well, I would say, and now uh, probably all Slovenians will hate me, but definitely it's not a joke act, that's for sure. But musically, you know, honestly, such song would never go to ESCZ in when I'm a producer of it, for example. And the reason is that it's not real music, in my opinion. It's a great show for New Year's Eve. And such song, such song I would give because it talks to wider audience in post-communist country and you just don't do music for 16 to 25 or 35, you just do it for everyone and you must know whose the project is for whom or where you want to push it. But this is definitely, in my opinion, a huge step back to what it's supposed to be just a fun for people without some musical quality. And that's what I didn't expect the Slovenia will anyhow have in their national selection. But for probably this band is very popular in Slovenia. It's a fresh band. This is very interesting about it that all the guys looks very young. And maybe this is a new wave of music like socialistic 80s are coming back somehow as well as Slovenian. For me, it sounds bizarre because I don't really like uh, the reminiscence of such era for sure because people suffered and this just kind of cover that those countries like us and maybe even Slovenia don't really do that well as they could if they're in democracy so maybe I'm mixing things together a bit off but this is exactly what this song reminds me of all those old programs from those eras exactly the same music quality <sighs> I don't know, it's super simple, it's not even this, and but maybe it works, maybe it will work, and I'm very curious if it's gonna work 
for the international audience. I was really trying to like it because I see the energy of the band, I see the energy of the main singer, I see a really good singing person, really good singing person. I really see a really good, very clever staging, but the essence of it, which is the song itself, the structure of the song, it's, in my opinion, not enough for Eurovision nowadays. And we can talk about it in the comments below, so let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Maybe I'm completely wrong and you don't share this opinion with me and it's okay. Because I don't want to hate it, I just feel it's not enough. And, it, and somehow I don't really like it, but that's my personal feeling. As a producer, I kind of feel it's quality, but definitely not for Eurovision, in my opinion, with all the respect. But anyway, it won the selection, so there is a lot of people who probably really likes it. Are you one of them? Write me in the comments below. Are you not one of them? Write me in the comments below. Why not? And if you're somewhere in the middle of those two extremes, just write me in the comments below and tell me what you think and what you think about my opinion as well. What is your opinion? Just tell me everything. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.